you know, Aramco and, the, and Saudi Arabia wanted to bring in Chinese investors at the time of the IPO um, to, to support that. And eventually that, that didn't happen. And it was, it was largely a domestic affair. Uh, but those, uh, as we know, you know, those talks, possibly that idea has now now returned. Um, I mean, I think for the uh, you know for the Aramco, the interest is is obviously uh, is obviously clear in cementing its position in if it is indeed China and cementing its position in the Chinese market and for Saudi Arabia building a, its position there further, which is is already strong. Um, for the Chinese, I think the picture is a little bit less clear. You know, what would they be getting? Maybe may a profitable investment, of course, but what what would they be getting beyond an investment? Um, strategically, they already do a lot of business with, with Saudi Arabia. They have investments in, in joint refineries in both in China and in Saudi Arabia. Um, so, would there be any any sweeteners in this? Is a, a, it's hard to see that there's anything particularly in terms of preferential oil supplies that the the Chinese don't don't already get. And Aramco has also said that it's also reviewing its portfolio, looking for possible divestment opportunities. Are we likely to see a leaner, more cleaner Aramco into the future as this industry navigates an overall greening of the entire sector? And uh, of course, the kingdom also looking to tap into Aramco to uh, essentially uh, fast track its economic and uh, social transformation. Is that something that we're likely to see here, more asset divestments? Yeah, I don't, I don't know if any of that will be announced today, but I mean, certainly there are things in the works and the, the whole plan has been to uh, it, to increase uh, the, the amount of capital that can be drawn out of Aramco to support the um, the other initiatives in, within Saudi Arabia, right? So there's a, a, a sale of the, the stake in the oil pipeline unit, which is which is underway. And there are other units which could also sell stakes. So uh, the, the, of course, the gas pipelines is one obvious one, uh, the refining unit. You know, possibly, possibly other units could raise money, but these are quite uh, limited and controlled sales. Aramco is still maintaining operational control and majority stakes in these units. They're not, you know, they're not exactly divestments. They're more, in a way, securitizations of, of these assets. Um, I think whether they do something more radical. And the interesting thing that was floated recently was, you know, would they give foreign investors access to their upstream, uh, either oil and gas production, possibly in some some non-core uh, producing assets. Now, if a Chinese investor were to come into those, or, or indeed another international investor, um, that would be very interesting. When that would be the most, uh, the really the most radical shakeup yet, since um, foreign oil companies haven't operated in in the Saudi Aramco concession area since, uh, or foreign interests haven't since the company was finally nationalised in 1980.